Hi, uh, welcome everybody to our More Than Just Mums event today. Uh, my name is Michelle, I am a mother of five children. They are two, three, five, eight and nine. I'm originally from an early childhood background. I did that from quite a young age. I had my own daycare. I uh, was a director of a long daycare centre and then I went on to work um, for other people in a gym running a creche. I, uh, I've always liked health. And this came along and that's this is where I am now so basically today you're going to hear some amazing stories about a product and program um, that's allowing allowing mums to not only get their health back on track but to also earn an income online around around their families and and um, all the other commitments that they may have you know whether it be working in addition to a part-time job or staying at home uh, or even um, substituting a, a full-time, part-time wage and just to end up doing this. You know, I think we find that there are two major stresses in life. I think the first, uh, the first one would be financial stresses and that comes from, um, you know, all the extra bits and pieces that we need to pay for as a family, uh, the bills, the, the children's activities. Whether you are a stay-at-home mum, that means that you're lacking that extra income. And that's quite stressful. I know myself, when we worked, my husband's always worked, I've always worked from the time my children were five months old, but there was never quite enough money and we're always scraping by at the end of the week or the end of the month. And that's always been a major stress. And stress, stress actually impacts your health as well, which is, which is quite a worry. So when you're overly stressed, you're going to be feeling it on the inside as well. And that comes to the, the second stress in life is definitely health. I think we all kind of have different levels of health. Uh, myself, I've always been a healthy person. However, I, I found myself through the stress of my life um, kind of lacking a lot of, of health. And I, I found myself in a pretty deep, dark place of depression and just completely overwhelmed. And I think as mums, that's quite a common thing for us. We find that we end up getting very overwhelmed with life and um, we're kind of pouring from an empty cup. And it's really hard to do that when you're not feeding yourself properly and and feeding your body and your mind, it's really, really hard to, to keep up with the, with the daily activities of all the stresses that, that life brings. And I think too, today as mums, there are more stresses than there used to be. We don't just stay at home anymore. We work, you know, we have to work. There's more after school activities that we're finding. And I think we put a lot of that stress on ourselves and, and feel like we need to do it all. So it's quite hard. Um, so yeah, so I think with, with her, when it comes to health, we find that we've, you know, the, the statistics are showing that um, the, the levels of health are really declining. It's, it's quite scary, really. You know, there's more obesity and cancer, autoimmune diseases and, and mental health. Uh, and it's largely to do with the fact that we're not feeding ourselves properly. We're not feeding our bodies well. The foods, you know, that we used to eat many years ago when we all grew it and, and it was more available to us in from, from farms and things like that, it was quite high in nutrition and we found that we could feed our bodies and fuel our bodies better. Uh, you know, today, the food that we're eating really isn't that fantastic. It's, it's grown in really poor nutrient soil. It's lacking the nutrients and the minerals. And... It's also been picked well before it should be. And that means that those nutrients don't have the time to actually fully absorb into the fruits and vegetables. It's then usually sprayed with poison uh, while it's, it's sitting there before it's been picked. It's sprayed with all these horrible things. Then it's, it's taken off, you know, like a little baby taken out of its mama way too early. It's just this poor little thing that, that's just kind of lacking life. It's then thrown in a truck travels all across the country or even the world, put into storage for goodness knows how long, and then uh, could be gas ripened, sprayed a bit more uh, and covered in wax and then put on our shelves. You know, of course there are places you could buy food uh, that is not all these things, organic food and farmer's markets. However, it tends to be quite expensive. Uh, and I know myself I'm tending to buy more organic, but before I couldn't afford that. I really couldn't afford to have organic food. So it's really hard for us to not only source it, but to afford it. Uh, so, you know, I think um, 
with me, I, I, like I said, I'd always eaten healthy. However, I really had fallen. My last three children I had in just three years and I had found myself in a really horrible place. I, couldn't, I was just at the point where I couldn't function. And I had a friend who told me about this amazing product. She had some really great energy and I thought, well, I need a little bit of energy. It's worth a try. And that product is called Juice Plus. And basically what we have is whole foods in a capsule. So we've got a fruit, we have vegetables, and we have berries. And basically, uh, this is made up of around 30 different uh, fruits, veg, and berries. Uh, and it's not just any old fruit, veg, and berries. It's actually grown at our certified, certified farms, and it is grown to the peak of ripeness. So they are not picked before they are ready. They are um, juicy, plump, right before they're about to fall off the trees. They're not pretty by any means. You know, the food that we buy now is pretty, but it's not nutrient um, rich. And so we find, uh, so yeah, so then what happens is once that's picked, it's then taken straight to the factories. It's washed. It is not sprayed in anything nasty uh, before or after. It's all very clean. Uh, whole foods. It is then reduced to the very slow temperature and made into a slushy. Um, and that, that keeps all those enzymes, those live enzymes intact. Then it is put into, it's made into a powder. Um, all those good goodies are all still in there and it's put into a vegan capsule. Uh, the reason why it's in a capsule is so that it doesn't oxidize. So all those enzymes will stay intact. Um, I know I think a lot of other ones, you kind of have them like a powder and you'll, you'll open the lid. And every time you open that, you can, it's, um, it, it oxidizes. So the goodness is not going to be staying, staying in there. Uh, so the, the, where are we? Here we are. So yeah, so uh, they're put into the capsule. And I think I actually found out that it can be as little as a six hour turnaround from the time that it's actually taken off the tree and put into the capsule, which is really, really cool. You think about how fast the, the nutrients are being kept in there and, and you could get them straight into your body. Uh, so the, the, th the great thing about it too is that anyone can have them, whether you're pregnant, breastfeeding, uh, on medication, young people, old people, children, anybody can have it. Uh, there's also, I'm not a research person, but if you are, we can, we can actually lead you in the right direction. We have 35 peer-reviewed medical journals and the products have been around for over 20 years. So there's a lot of research and um, proven kind of bits and pieces behind it that we, can, that we can share with people if that's something you want to know about. Me, I more go off how I feel, which is pretty amazing. Uh, so like I said, anyone can have it. And that means that we've got kitties that can have it. You know, a child's not necessarily going to be swallowing this. However, you can actually put the capsules, the powder, into milk and water or food. I have one of my children, my three-year-old, I actually do that for her. She won't even try them. These little beauties I'll leave that to show you. So basically, the other thing that we have is chews. These are the fruit and vegetables, and our children can eat these. My, my four of my children eat these, and they absolutely love them. Uh, I had my youngest one, she suffered with uh, constipation, really, really bad constipation. And she was very, very small when she first started and wasn't having to wait for two months. Uh, two weeks in, she was constipation free, off medication, started gaining weight again and has been thriving since. And she's had a lot of great um, med uh, health benefits from that. Also, my son, I've got all my children, my four girls, I've got four girls, one boy, my girls love fruit and veg. Uh, but my son, however, doesn't. He doesn't like to eat meat. He doesn't like to eat fruit and veg. So we found that he, that was showing in his behavior. And I think a lot of mums will, will see, you know, you give your kids some sugar, they go a little bit nuts. Uh, he was not fueling his body. So he wasn't sleeping well. He was behaving, his behavior was all over the place, no concentration. Uh, had a sleep study done and he was not, he was showing restlessness in his deep sleep. Uh, started these, he now sleeps really well, he falls asleep really fast, he doesn't wriggle around and move, he, he stays asleep and his concentration is much better so he's able to go to school and concentrate which is awesome. Uh, we, my, we haven't been sick for a really long time, my children really don't get sick uh, and if they do I actually double dose them on these and their sunny noses go away really fast, we used to be sick 
all the time and it was really stressful. I mean, I think all, all mums, we know what it's like when, when some one child's sick, it's really hard. And for me, having five children sick, it would go through the house a month worth of one illness. So it was really, really hard. So we actually have a child health study that we do with these. And that's got over a million children that, that we that we focus on and it's actually the the largest child health study in the world and what we find is all those things they're eating better they're sleeping better they're choosing to eat more whole foods my girls will eat fruit uh, they loved fruit and veggie before but they will wake up and they want to eat cucumbers carrots and tomatoes for breakfast and they're constantly eating it and we do find that children who didn't want to eat it before are actually wanting to eat more of that uh, and it's um under every paying adult, you can actually get a child free, sponsor a child under the Child Health Study for free and they'll get those shoes for free, which is really cool. Uh, it's a definitely a great incentive because we, I think we always want our, our children to feel well. Uh, so if we can get ourselves feeling well and get them for free, I think it's a really, really great thing. So the other thing that we have is we have whole food shakes as well or whole, whole food protein powder. We've got vanilla and we've got chocolate. Um, so with these guys, these are our micronutrients. So basically that's going to repair and protect your system to, to kind of get it functioning better, to, to build that immunity, to get your hair, skin, nails, all of that feeling of growing and, and doing that. Whereas these guys are actually our macronutrition, which is fuel. I think, especially as mums, again, we put ourselves last. And I know myself, I wasn't eating breakfast. I was running out of the house. I was absolutely... I just wasn't functioning because I, I didn't have anything to fuel my body. Uh, so these guys, you can mix them with water, um, any kind of milk that you like. Uh, I mix mine. I have one every single day. I can't go without it. I mix it with coconut water, uh, kale and frozen mango. But again, you can just have it with water. It's, uh, it's got things in there like pumpkin, uh, mushroom, sprouts, broccoli, lots of cool things in there. And... It's, I think too, like when I, if I happen to miss having mine in the morning, I feel really picky for the rest of the day. I feel like I want to have a coffee. I can have one of these in the afternoon. I feel like a coffee. I used to be a three, four coffee a day drinker. I now don't need it. Um, I can have one of these in the afternoon and it's like I've had a coffee. It's really, really great because it's fueling my body. Like we said before, you can go a longer period of time without needing to eat. It's not uh, a meal replacement. However, it is something that we can use instead of having an unhealthy option or for breakfast, like I said. We do have people losing weight on these. It actually gets their body functioning better along with the capsules and the, and the shakes. And that's 40 different plant um, sources in your body a day if you're having access in both of those. And it's really cool. You know, basically, this, all of this here, it doesn't actually, it's not going to replace a healthy diet. It just... It bridges the gap because I think what we find is that even the people who eat really well, you're not feeling really well because of, again, the, the nutrients that we're lacking. And I don't think we can do it every day. It's really, really hard to, to eat five fruits and uh, two fruits, five veg every day. And again, the World Health Organization says that we should eat between nine and 13 a day. So it bridges that gap. We also have a really great uh, online program. It's called the Tribal Wellness Movement. And in there we have cleansers and detoxes, recipes, uh, meditation, exercises, and all sorts of great things that you can access as well for our customers. Um, you know, we have, have monthly webinars that we can do to give extra, extra bits of information on that kind of stuff. And basically with all of this stuff, it's just so your body can do its best work. You know, we're finding, and with the, also with the um, research, we find that, you know, people are finding they've got more energy, better immunity, skin, hair, nails, concentration, the brain fog. I know myself that that brain fog completely lifted and my hair, skin and nails, I was, I had lost a lot of hair. I had terrible acne um, and eczema and that's all cleared and healed, which is fantastic for me. Um, and, and it's just the recovery and repair that, that it can do. And, you know, with this, it's with, with, manage to build an online business around it. So we're not even just helping people with their health, but also with their wealth and making mums feel 
um, get their passion and purpose again and to feel like they can contribute. And they are, you know. For me, I've actually been able to give up my part-time job to continue and, and do this amazing business. So we're going to hear from a couple of mums now. Um, they're going to share a little bit of their health and their, their uh, business journey with you. And we might go, we'll go to Karen first. So let me just unmute you, Karen. And you can share with us uh, what's been going on. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, so much that you said in, in, the, in the opening of this event, I could so relate to. Um, a little bit about me. Um, I'm a single mum. I've got two children, age 13 and almost 12. Very, very active. But um, I, I became a single mum almost seven years ago. And I was one of these mums that I didn't want to go back. I, did, I didn't want to be putting my children into before and after school care and school holidays. I wanted to be there. So um, I was fortunate enough to have um, a part-time business already that I could work from home. So I started building that up. But what I have found over the la you know, over those years is that I was really struggling financially still. So like I was, um, I always had enough money, but I never had a lot of surplus money. So those extra things such as holidays, um, you know, those extra things I wanted to, you know, I love to do yoga, but I couldn't afford to go and do a lot of yoga classes, for example. So it was, I, I was always just falling short. So my idea of what I wanted to create about freedom just was always that little bit out of reach. But over that time, I be, I was very stressed. And like Michelle mentioned, you know, I was one of those mums who didn't provide the proper nutrition in my body. And um, I became actually quite sick. And I was, you know, I'd move in and out of depressive, depressive states as well. Um, I had my iron levels drop dramatically. I wasn't sleeping well. And I kind of knew what I needed to do. And I knew I needed to eat better. But that was just, I got into such a stress that I was so overwhelmed and so um, confused. And, you know, eat this, eat that, whatever. So, you know, this is when I started researching about, you know, raw foods and whole foods. And then Juice Plus came across my, my, you know, my awareness. And I started taking that and I started feeling better. And then I started introducing it to my kids. You know, we were trying to cut out sugar. And it really did help my kids. You know, my kids used to eat bowls of ice cream after dinner. And just, you know, within a few weeks, they're not asking for the ice cream. My son's teacher was like, oh, my God, his concentration in school. And I'm like, oh, my God, this could be, we're on to something here. So I started noticing the changes. So I started sharing it with a few of my clients who were getting amazing results. So I went, oh, hang on. So I started taking a closer look at the business and went, wow, this is actually going to meet way more of my needs than I ever thought possible. So, you know, I mentioned before, freedom is a big thing for me. You know, I want to have the freedom to work where I want when I work. Whereas when I was working from home, yes, I was doing what I wanted to do, but I didn't have that freedom. I was still locked in. If I didn't see clients, I didn't get paid. Whereas this is giving me that ability to really step out, step up, but it's it's providing me with with the freedom it's providing me with fulfillment it's providing me with an amazing community of like-minded people the personal development um behind the business is second to none i've done lots and lots of high-end courses previous and it really is this is one of the best programs for personal self-development that you could ever do and hey as you grow you get paid um, you know, and now I get to impact and help other women, you know, women who are struggling, you know, with just wanting that little bit extra confidence, you know, they've been out of the workforce and giving the confidence, but it's having fun. I'd forgotten to have a lot of fun as well along the way, you know, life became too damn serious. Um, so it really, my health has just gone from strength to strength and my motto is, to age youthfully and um, I feel like I'm on that length now you know I'm I'm in my late 40s and it was getting scary a lot of my friends you know they're on medication for this that and everything else and I'm like no we're too young to be like that now and so on the health side of things it's been great plus it's giving me not just the freedom 
but it's giving me hope and it's giving me the possibility of what's possible because work as a single mum and working for myself, I have very little super, superannuation. So long-term financial security was really high on my agenda. And I really feel that this business, this program and this community is really um, helping me achieve that. So thank you, Michelle. Great, thank you so much. I love uh, what you say, you know, about freedom and it's totally true. That word freedom, it means so much. It means so much to diff different things to so many different people. Mm. But I agree, freedom is something that I love that I'm getting that out of this. Um, and a part of the community, being part of a community of people who believe in the same thing is really yeah. something that I just really absolutely love so thank you so much thank you for sharing that we yeah. might jump straight across to we'll jump to you now kate i'll just unmute you and um tell us a little bit about your story hi yeah my name is kate uh, i have am a mum of two kids and we're a fifo family we have been a fifo family for the last five five and a bit years um, and for us, um, it, has been a, it has been a great industry to, to be in, but it, it definitely has a time limit. Um, my husband's definitely missing out on a lot that he, he wants to be home for. And last year in 2016, we actually decided to bring him home. Um, we had moved and bought a house down in our dream location down in northern New South Wales, and he, he wanted to be a part of that lifestyle there with us. Um, it didn't work out as we had had thought. Uh, he could only find a job in Brisbane and was spending his time commuting. So he was working from Monday to Saturday. And to make ends meet, I was working in a pub on the weekends from Friday night through to Sunday night. So our couple time ceased to exist. Um, I was having a great time during the week with the kids and he was having a great time with the kids on the weekend but we, we were having no time as a family. Um, we actually saw each other less than when he worked away for four weeks at a time. So um, we had to go back to the drawing board because we knew that long-term that this wasn't gonna work. Um, and that's when sort of at the end of the year when, when this opportunity for the business came and last year had been a, an extremely stressful year. Um, I, I can't, in the seven years that we've been um, parents, I can't, there has not been one time that has been as stressful as, as what last year was. So for us to have this opportunity come, come for us and, and we both jumped in and, and I, I showed him a couple of videos and, and we have been looking for something like this for a really long time. Since my son was born seven years ago, I, the amount of hours I have spent looking at work that mums can do from home, um, businesses mum can do from home. I looked into Intimo, I, I, I looked into all of it. it, it's not even funny. And none, none of it resonated with who I am. None of it resonated with what I believed in. Um, health has always been an important part of our family. Uh, my kid, both of my kids have really severe asthma. So bringing um, nutrition into that and looking at what we were feeding them um, has been so strong. Um, so that's that's kind of where we where we went last year. And and since the business started, we've been able to dream again. We've been able to start saying, oh, you know, maybe in two thousand and eighteen, we can go go over to the US together, or maybe we can start saving and get that tra travel fund back up going. Because as as people who had babies in their young in their very early twenties, we were um, I was twenty, my husband was twenty one. We never got to travel, so um, it's something that we now both have the travel bug and it's something that we have started saving for. Um, next year, we're going to Rowatonga at the Cook Islands and we're taking the kids and I couldn't be more excited. And the health products that, that we have um, will help me look good when I'm in Rowatonga, so <laughs> that's another bonus. Um, but it, it's just completely transformed our lives. I have met the most amazing people um, and I feel so blessed. Every day I feel so blessed to be a part of this business. And I don't know where we would be without it. My husband has gone back to FIFO and that was the right decision for us. But we now have a game plan 
or where I need to be in this business and where we can take this business and and the game plan of when he can come home without it being a big stress. So so that's that's the road that we're on and that's the path that we're taking. Um, I'm also doing my nursing degree and without this business, it, it just wouldn't be possible. And without my husband working away, it wouldn't be possible to do that that degree. There would just be too much going on. Um, even with a hex debt, um, you're, you're, the cost is just too much. Um, I get to enjoy my kids. I got to have the holidays with them. And it was just beautiful. I was so sad when they went back, even though um, every mum understands that the last two days they turn into devils. And you think, when are they going back to school? I don't know why, but the last two days of the holidays. Um, but yeah, but I, I do have some friends that, that their kids had to go to holiday clubs and some of them are only preppies and they spent the two weeks at holiday club. And so I, I do feel really blessed that I'm able to be home. And, and as the kids get older, I, I just want to say, I, I want to be at home with them. That's all I want. Um, and my husband does too. So yeah, it's not a, it's not a long story, but this is, this is just it. This business has opened up the gateway for both me and my husband to, to both parent our kids. And we're really looking forward to what the future holds. That's awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's, it's true. Isn't it really cool to have options? We just don't yeah. seem to have options as mums. You know, it's a really hard thing to kind of try and juggle the, the school and the things and the money and it's, it's really tricky. You know, my hubby too, he works, um, really, he's got two jobs. He works ridiculously long hours as a, as a manager in a construction company but he's also got a second job as a rugby league coach. So my hubby is not around at all. However, he's actually doesn't have the passion for footy anymore and he's been able to make the choice to um, give up footy next year. So I'm going to have him around in the evening, which is just a massive thing for us. So I totally understand that, Kate, to have those, to have those goals, but to actually see that light at the end of the tunnel, to actually know that this will give you the options to, to make those drills, fulfill those dreams and to have the time with the family. I mean, the kids, they, they all react on each other. They bounce off each other when mum is stressed because she's not seeing hubby and, you know, the strain that it puts on your own relationship but also the, the family. So thank you so much. That was awesome, Kate. Um, so, you know, I think um, before I go to the next one, I think it's really, uh, you know, we have, like I said before, about the stresses of missing the magic moments and, and the stresses of trying to fit it all in as mums, um, whether you're a stay-at-home mum or a working mum, we're kind of just broke as well, whether it be to pay for the childcare fees or whether it be because you're at home and you can't work and we kind of find ourselves in that, that, that limbo of, of trying and working hard but never really getting anywhere. Um, so for us, I think we've just found a better way. We found a better way by working around our families. For me, in the beginning, I was thinking, how on earth am I going to fit this in? But after I started feeling better, I knew all these people that I could help and I was seeing my, these people that I knew who were doing the business. I could see them and I could see that their lives were changing and unfolding before my eyes. So I thought I needed to do that as well. And I was working three days. Like I said, my husband, he works 12-hour days, plus he goes straight from work to footy. So we sometimes don't see him at all. My kids can go days without seeing him because he goes before they leave in the morning. He's up at 4.30. He actually can manage to fit in the gym every now and then there. But he'll get up, he'll go, he gets home when they're in bed, and we miss him. We miss him a lot. So I'm thinking, okay, so I've got mornings, I've got afternoons. I do all the school drop-offs and pick-ups. I do all the after-school activities. We've only got one afternoon free. How on earth am I going to fit a business in? you know, I have a job already, but I found that I could, I did. And I was doing it five minutes here and there. I do it when I was dropping a child off here, waiting for the school pickup um, on the toilet. <laughs> I'll do that, right? You know, little messages here and there while I'm stirring the, stirring the, the dinner and I made it work. And it was 11 months in and I was actually able to give up my, I did cut back on my, um, my work probably seven or eight months in, 11 months in, I was actually to give up my, I, I gave up my, my part-time job and I'm now earning more from home. Um, and I think it's not just, you know, finding the time I, I sort of now I still work in little increments here. I mean, it's still work. We've still got to work, right? If you have goals and you want to earn money, you've got to work for it. And, but I do it on my own terms. 
um, and I fit it in. And, you know, we all kind of, we all have a phone. We, most of us have social media and that's basically how we do it. We, we share, we share um, how we're feeling. We, we do it from the heart. We kind of, um, you know, with, like I said, with the power of social media, we talk about what we're doing, what we're up to, what fun things we're doing. You know, my kids were able to do more after school activities and that's, I shared that and that's kind of how we do it. So if you have a heart, you, you can totally do this business. So we're going to actually go across to Michelle now and she's going to share a little bit about her story. Oh, my child wants me to open something. <laughs> kids we've always we've all got kids coming in you know popping into our zooms it keeps it real um so i um was introduced to this these products coming up for three years ago now um three years in september and i'd heard of them from a few different people um it kind of um Actually, there was a lady, I used to do Thermomix. I was a Thermomix consultant for three years and a lady was handing out chews at my demo, <laughs> which wasn't really the best sales technique. But um, yeah, she came and kind of was talking about it and then someone else mentioned it. And then my chiropractor, um, he, I went for an adjustment one day and I just burst into tears and I really wasn't in a very good way. I've got two kids, nine and um, six, but they were three and six at the time. Um, so I wasn't, I was exactly like Michelle said, I was really um, time poor, wasn't looking after myself, I was skipping breakfast and it was impacting my mental health. Um, I have a history of anxiety and depression and so I was starting to feel like I might need to go back on antidepressants again and it, I really didn't want to do that. Um, so I basically went along to a live kind of version of, of one of these events uh, at a lady's house. And I found out some information and I just heard some amazing stories and I just thought, what if this could help me feel better? Because I felt really, really crap. Um, and so I kind of, I signed up to the products and the business at exactly the same time. I just wanted to get my products cheaper to start with. Um, and then I started taking the products and I just felt fantastic. Within the first 10 days, I was... I was walking around in a bit of a fog and I didn't realise how foggy I was until I started giving myself proper nutrition and the fog just lifted and I started to feel like me again. Because um, I think many mums can probably relate, but I really lost myself as a mum. Um, I, previous to having kids, I worked in an investment bank in London um, for 10 years and I had a really good job. And then we kind of had kids, moved back here when my son was six months old uh, and I just kind of went, what do I do now? Who am I now? And I just lost myself in that. So I'd always done something on the side. I love being a mum, but I needed to have that mental stimulation as well. So um, I did a few different direct selling things, but, you know, Thermomix was very up and down. Like I would, I was working my ass off. I was cooking five courses for people. And then at the end of it, someone wouldn't buy a Thermomix, you know. Um, I did that for three years. I sold over 100 Thermomixes, but I was exhausted. And I was doing demos from Byron Bay up to North Brisbane. And my pay would be, you know, yes, some months I might earn $2,000, but then the next month I'd have no sale and I'd earn $100. And there was just no balance. And I was really... Um, trading time for money big time I was missing out on weekends with my kids I was missing out on night you know evenings with my kids or I was dropping them at school driving to Brisbane doing a demo and then bolting back to pick them up from school pickup and so I wasn't I wasn't a happy mum I was a snappy mum um so I went to an event and just saw uh you know about a year into it I didn't really take the business seriously to start with but about a year into it I kind of went aha this could be a way to uh not keep doing this and I actually hate cooking I don't even know how I became a Thermomix consultant <laughs> um, I love my Thermomix but I really don't like cooking so to go and cook five courses for people was mental so I'd been on a big health journey myself and so now um, learning you know everything happens for a reason I think and I went through a real process of learning a lot about whole foods and nutrition and had my own health challenges um, that's led me to, to this. So now I just feel like it's a, a way that I get to work from home, stay with my children, 
Um, I'm there for all the pickups, the drop-offs, the magic moments, the school assemblies. I had my kids both got an award on Monday. Um, I told them that only one of them was getting an award and then I went to the went to the uh, thing and, and so I saw my daughter got her award first and my son's face kind of was really sad and then he got the award as well. So he was really excited and they, they were excited that I was there and then I, I see so many parents missing that. You know, they're not there for those um, magic little moments that light, light their faces up. So for this, it's flexibility, it's fun. I'm having the most fun I've had in my life. Um, you know, we, we really know how to party um, as well as, you know, it's wine and wellness is what I like to call it. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. I'm very glad that somebody shared it with me. So back to you, Michelle. Awesome, thank you, Shell. Um, yeah, I'm the same, you know, I love that. Just knowing that you're there for your kids for all those assemblies and all those things. Uh, my, I'm the same. I missed out on so many assemblies and I'm at all the Mount Easter hat parades, even the, the mother's day thing. I'm, I used to miss that. And I was at the first one this time, this time. So that was really cool. Um, and you also said, you know, just feeling this event we call it more than just mums because that's what it is because I think we go through the motions and we do we feel like just mums I'm just a mum even if you're working if you're doing whatever you could be working full time but you do just feel like just a mum you don't feel like you're worth anything to anybody um so you know I really love that that's what this business gives to us there's so much empowerment within this uh we do a lot of personal development something that I'm aspiring to and I do it every day now it's it's kind of instilled in, in us I think that's had a lot to do with my own depression coming back from that is the being part of this team and, and just building myself up because I think with this business we are our business and we are encouraged we're given these tools and opportunities to actually build ourselves up uh, and that to also too you know I think a lot of people come into this thinking I've got no experience with this how on earth am I going to do it you know I was always into health but I'm thinking I don't really know how do I lead other people to good health um, but the great thing about our program and um, the team that we're involved in is that we actually have we actually have step-by-step -step, um, process into doing that so there's so much support for us there is a uh, step-by-step we we watch I can't really read things these days I not only do I not have time but I have audio books and things and the great thing that I love about this is that it's all YouTube videos so we go oh what am I do next and then we watch a little video and it says um, do this and we do it. So that's really cool. Um, I just want to really quickly just share with you, you know, how we actually do this business. Um, you know, I actually did party plan before. Like I said, I've worked, I've been a business owner. I've done all aspects of business. So I was a business owner. I um, was a director of a long day care centre where I had 100 families, uh, 13 staff underneath me. Uh, and then I have also been, you know, an employee and I think there are stresses with all of those things. As a business owner, trying to find the time to do all the things that I need to do and all the different avenues, the licensing, the regulations, the programming, the families, the accounts, all of that was quite hectic for me. At that time, I had two children and I had uh, another one on the way and um, I did it through my first three children and the juggle was really hard. I was working 60 or 70 hours a week just trying to get it all done. I was doing 10 hour days. It was, it was crazy. I thought it was great because my kids would come and work with me, but it was not that fantastic. It was quite hard on them. Uh, and then, you know, as a director, I found that I was quite young at that time. I was only 22, 23, I think. And trying to have the staff dealing with the staffing and the, all the different personalities clashing together, that was really, really stressful. I, I just really found that hard, especially as a young person. And then as an employee, there's no flexibility. Again, the whole sharing, um, trading time for money. And you are kind of stuck. You can't have holidays when you want. You're told what to do. You're told what you're worth. And it's really, really hard. So that's, you know, what we have there is our, that's it. That's our traditional business. And in there, you've got your different levels that you can work your way up. You know, the checkout chicks and the trainees and the chippies and all of that, we're all down here. And then, you know, you can kind of work your way up. Uh, you can be a supervisor of something. You can then go and be um, a, a director. I guess I was up here. Or you have a CEO or a business owner at the top. But you look at this, like how much room is there to move? There's no, there's nothing, you know, you, you can work your way up to earn more money, but there's really no room to move. Less people can get to the top and there's less time as well. So you've got less time in your life for all the things that you want to do and what you love. And it's really, really hard. It's really hard. You know, 
I, I just, I, I think it's just the stress. Again, it comes back to the stress. So what we do, it's actually a little bit different. So we have a box here. Again, we have different levels that you can that you can work up. Uh, we all start down here. Doesn't matter. We've got we've got chiropractors. We've got chippies. We've got um, accountants. We've got yoga teachers, personal trainers. We all start down here. Uh, we've got really we've got young people, old people, all of us. We're all down here, and we start. It's called a VF. And basically, how you work way up. It's again about sharing. I'm sure you can see that. It's about sharing with people and sharing the love and sharing how we're all feeling. We we um have a certain way of doing things and it's it's um I think yeah like I did the whole network marketing thing before uh, and I did it because I had to at that point I was working two jobs and I also had to my husband wasn't getting paid for some time I had to do that I was pregnant with my or with my third and then my fourth child and it was really hard it was going to parties deliveries um, dealing with the money all of that kind of thing it was really really tricky it was quite pushy as well and it's something I swore I was never going to be a part of anything like that again uh, until this came along, you know, I, I've always been open-minded and I think in life you have to be, you have to have an open mind and just be open to things coming your way. Yeah, there's something, things always come into your path. So I did. Um, and again, it's just about being genuine and sharing. So we can work our way up, up to here. And this is called NMD. And when you get up, you know, as you work your way out, the great thing about this is that we have something called residual income, which means I can go, we just had school holidays, and I took my two weeks just kind of lagging a bit, but I'm still earning money. Uh, my money's still coming in while I'm not actually having to do anything. So, you know, it, it's kind of, it's, there's room for everybody. And it's all got to do with how much, you know, you want to share and how much you really want, want a better life. So it can, it can happen. Uh, you just got to have the will and the, there is this way. And um, we'd love to share with you a little bit more about that. So whoever shared this with you, please reconnect with them and we can share a little bit, a little bit more about it. And um, we hope to see you soon.